What's up guys and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild Quick Guide Series. Today we are in Cuatro Colinas. So you already know the deal. We're going to go through, we're going to talk a little bit about the map and then go into the animals of the map. So <clears throat> without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead, bring up the map. So this is the full map of Cuatro Colinas, uh, Spain. And this map is another great map for starting off in because this map uh, goes from class 1 to class 6 just like Te Aurora. And um, this one especially is very cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it has 10 different animals and if I'm not mistaken this map has the most animals uh, the most the most species I should say of of every map out there and looking through my notes it is so we've got ten animals here in Cuatro Colinas seven of those are unique to Cuatro Colinas so that's really cool now to talk about what I would re recommend as a loadout here is the same thing as Te Aurora. I would recommend, um, this is just rifles by the way, and you can do any mixture of whatever, as long as you're covered class 1 through 6. But for rifles, I would recommend any 22 or birdshot um, shotgun and the Solokin. That will cover all of your classes on this map. <clears throat> or you can do any 22 or birdshot shotgun and use the Ranger 243. Now if you're like me and you like to have more weapons, more options available to you with something that packs a little harder punch, the third recommended loadout that I can give you is any 22 shotgun with birdshot, one of those two a 223 docent or the M1 I went I always get this wrong I went tick I went a tick um, yeah <laughs> I, I always mispronounce that but those are the three loadouts that I would suggest any 22 or shotgun uh, with birdshot along with the solo kin the Ranger 243 or the Docent 223 and the Iwinetic M1. So we've got that covered. Let's shoot over to the animals on this map because this one's actually pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to go uh, just like in Te Aurora, we're going to go in alphabetical order. So our first unique animal to Cuatro Colinas is the Besit Ibex which is a class 4. Uh, the minimum trophy rating for silver is 78. For gold is, gold is 142.9. And diamond is 191.6. Next up we have the European hare. This one is also unique to Quattro Colinas, not to be confused with the European rabbit. It is class 1. Minimum trophy rating is silver at 3.5, gold at 5.0, and diamond at 6.5. Another unique animal to Quattro Colinas is the Greedos Ibex at class 4. Minimum trophy rating for silver is 54.3, gold is at 80.5, and diamond as is at 100.1 another unique animal to Quattro Colinas is the Iberian Mouflon which is class 4 trophy rating at silver is 97 gold 144.2 diamond 179.6 our next unique animal is the Iberian Wolf class 5 Trophy ratings for silver starts at 32, gold 36, and diamond 39. 
Next up we have the Red Deer, Class 6. Silver is 90.5, Gold is 182.2, and Diamond is 251.6. Then we have the Roe Deer, which is Class 3. Silver at 41, Gold 64.3, Diamond 81.8. Another unique animal to Quattro Colinas is the Ronda Ibex, which is class 4. Minimum trophy ratings for silver 69.2, gold 91.4, and diamond 107.9. Another unique animal for Cuatro Colinas is the Southeastern Spanish Ibex. Class 4, trophy ratings for silver 49.7, gold 72.5, diamond 89.6. And last but not least, we have the Wild Boar, which is Class 4. Trophy rating at silver is 37.5. For gold, 98.5, and for diamond, 144.2. So there you have it, guys. That is Cuatro Colinas. Like I said, it's another great map to start off in just because you can hunt there with the weapons that are given to you at the beginning of the game. It'll help you build up your experience, help you build up your money, and you don't have to spend that extra money in order to hunt the map to get those bigger animals. On this map, the Red Deer is the highest trophy rating animal there is, and the 243 takes that out, the Solikin takes that out, and the M1 Iwenetic takes that out as well. I don't know why I have a hard time saying that word. Um, and we went through the animals, guys, and uh, if you guys want any of these pictures, just let me know. Um, Contact me via Steam or via Discord. Uh, shoot me a private message there. I'll leave uh, my usernames down below. And uh, just give me your email address. Let me know what pictures you want. I'll shoot them over to you if you want them. Um, I've got no problem with sharing. But if you guys like this video, hit that like button. If I've earned it, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this series. Granted, we've only done two maps, but uh, if you want me to continue this series, I'll be more than happy to, so let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, with that, guys, as always, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.